Hello, my name is Steven, and thank you for choosing Minka Air for your new ceiling fan purchase. In this short video, we will be providing basic ceiling fan installation instructions for all you do-it-yourselfers out there. The idea of the ceiling fan as being a simple means of air movement has faded away as Minka Air has shown that ceiling fans can be both functional and the main focal point of your room. Minka Air ceiling fans not only improve the aesthetic appeal of a given space, but also help to cut down on energy consumption by providing sufficient air circulation in both the summer and winter months. After viewing this video, you will find that the actual assembly and installation of your ceiling fan is fairly easy. The tools you'll need are very basic. You will need a wire stripper, screwdriver, and voltage tester. Wire cap nuts and hardware are provided with your new fan. Let's get started. Prior to performing any electrical work, always remember to turn off the power at your breaker box. If you are unsure or unfamiliar with your breaker panel, consider contacting a licensed electrician. Also, as an added precaution, be sure to turn any switches in your room to the off position. Take a moment to identify the wiring in your home. Most homes will have a standard black hot wire, white neutral, and green or bare copper ground wire. If you are unsure as to which wire is which, we strongly recommend using a voltage tester or consulting a qualified electrician. If you have two switches at your wall that control this ceiling location, you may have an additional black or red wire. This additional wire will be discussed later in the video. Let's go ahead and describe what you should have. First and foremost, you're gonna have your motor assembly. Next, you're gonna have your blade arms. Your blades are gonna to attach to these arms. These arms are gonna to attach to your motor. Next, depending on your fan, you should have a switch cup plate. This is used to attach any light kit or pool chain switching assembly. Also, depending on the fan, you may have a top motor cover. Some fans come with this pre-assembled, as with the case with this fan. It is not, it'll be added during installation. You'll also have your mounting hardware. You'll have screws to attach your hanging assembly to the ceiling, to finish your wiring connections, to attach your blades and arms, and your pool chain for your fan speeds. Your fan blades are laid out and packaged by weight to prevent balance or wobbling problems. Also, as stated previously, you're gonna have a six inch down rod and a three and a half inch down rod. Depending on how high or low your ceilings will obviously determine which down rod you're gonna use. Also remember to save any instructions that came with the fan for later illustration or troubleshooting. Also, be sure to fill out your warranty registration information and send that into the corporate office to validate your warranty. Lastly, you'll have your canopy cover to cover any connections or electrical connections made at the ceiling, as well as your switch cup assembly to control fan speed, which should go on last. You also have your hardware and tools needed to complete the installation. You have your voltage tester, your screwdrivers, and your wire strippers. Nothing else should be needed for most basic ceiling fan installation. Prior to installing your fan, there's a few steps that need to be taken on the table prior to hanging. You're gonna start by choosing the down rod length needed depending on your ceiling height. Again, your fan is included with a six and a three and a half inch rod. In this case, we're gonna go ahead and use the six inch rod. As you can see, there's obviously too much wire for the six inch rod. Rather than thread the entire six feet of wire through the rod, we're gonna go ahead and make our cut prior to attaching the rod to the fan body. Remember, leave an ample amount of wire past the rod, that way you don't have to come back later and splice in or make any connections that aren't needed. Now you're ready to go ahead and thread the wires through your down rod. From the bottom side, remember, the threaded side of the rod is gonna go face towards the fan body. Thread the wires through. Pull them tight until you can set the, the rod at equal level with the fan body. You're gonna find a few set screws in the fan coupler. These are gonna be need to be loosened prior to th turning and threading the rod into the coupler. Go ahead and loosen these screws. Once these are loosened, you'll be able to thread the fan down rod into the coupler. 
you'll notice that the rod has a hole for a cross pin and hitch pin. This keeps the rod assembly stationary when the fan is running. Be sure to align the hole in the down rod with the hole in the coupler so you can insert your hitch pin and cross pin. Once the hole in the down rod is aligned with the coupler, you can go ahead and insert your cross pin. Next, you're going to go ahead and insert your hitch pin. Next, you're going to go ahead and tighten the set screws that you previously loosened. You don't need to over tighten these screws, they just need to be taut. After your cross pin and hitch pin are in place and your set screws have been tightened, you're going to need to place the, the motor housing cover on top of the motor as well as pre-install the canopy so once you've hung the fan you can cover your connections. To remove the ball, you're going to go ahead and loosen the set screw on the side of the hanger ball. Again, this set screw does not have to be removed. The ball will slide freely down the down rod to expose an additional cross pin. Go ahead and remove this cross pin and remove your down rod, your hanger ball. This will allow you to place the top motor cover on top of the fan body. Go ahead and thread your wires through the center of the motor cover and let that rest on top of the fan motor assembly. There are no adhesives or screws to hold this down. This just rests on top of the body. Next, you're gonna go ahead and place your canopy on top of the fan motor cover and let it rest freely. Thread your wires through the center as you did previously. Once your canopy is resting, you can go ahead and reinstall your hanger ball that you previously removed. Again, thread the wires through your hanger ball and let it rest freely. To re reinstall and retighten the hanger ball, you're going to reinsert your cross pin. Once your cross pin is in place, you can go ahead and raise your hanger ball back up into its original position and retighten the set screw previously loosened. Now you're ready to hang your fans.